Hi everyone, it's Nancy with story volume number two. Let's flip through this traveler's notebook. I'll go through stories and a little bit about design too. All right, so this one I started making in April. Again, this is not chronological. I just tell whatever stories I want to and so I jump back and forth in time all the time. Usually the first page, I, this is only the second one, um, I try to kind of make it an intro to the month. So I'll just choose any random picture. This one is, is just of my house during the month of April. A quote, and then I love these cards from Paper Person Shop. This entire thing is Paper Person Shop, the die cut. Um, and I think this is one of their stamps too and kind of appropriate for April for me personally. I need a break, please. This one is of the daffodils that were blooming. We uh, planted a bunch of bulbs last year and we got really lucky um, that they all came up this year. Uh, this was done for Ellie's studio. So the card is from her. These tiny little skinny letters are from her. And let me see if you can see it. I have like these white stickers. She came out with these white stickers. And someone who's a little more creative than I am probably is gonna paint them and do this amazing mixed media thing, but that's not me. So I just put, how about white on white paper? It's texture, it's good. He had a couple of uh, enamel dots and it's done. Um, so I try to stay true to my style, even when I'm doing design team work like this, I'm not gonna become this other type of crafter. Um, and true to myself, I used a little envelope because I love envelopes and my story is tucked in there, a little piece of, of twine. And that's another one of these stickers and a die cut. And that's that. This one was also for Ellie's studio and I wanted to use a big picture. I rarely do this design in the Travis Notebook, so this was kind of an experiment for me. So I wanted to see if I could use a large picture without cutting any of their faces. That was a little bit of a challenge, honestly. Um, and then I just made a cascade of labels and die cuts here. So for my story, the story is about the first three people in the pool every year. It's usually actually my nephew, Mario. Um, and it's way too cold for me to go in there. The pool is heated, but I'm not getting out of a heated pool into 70 degree weather. It's just not happening. But those three, they love it. So that's why it's the plunge. And then I just took the colors right from this pattern paper and they match the picture, the blue and the greens. Oh, this one, yes. This one is, oh, I'll leave this out. Um, this one is for Laura by Laura. Uh, I love her things. So this is a stamp. Uh, she has a subscription. It's a monthly subscription. It comes both in Spanish and English. The company is based out of Spain. Um, and I believe she will hold your shipments so that you can save on the um, shipping costs. So that is, these little squares are all made with the stamps. So the thankful and the flower and the postage stamp, the 25 cents, and this makes me happy. This is another company that where you see really thin letters like this they actually stamp that thin and that intricate intricate and that little tiny and i love uh, when a stamp company really gets things right like that so i created kind of a collage this at this month they usually include the stamp includes something else to go with it sometimes it's die cuts sometimes it's steel dies sometimes they're envelopes it's always something different um and this time it was the steel die for little postage stamps. So some of these are up on pop dots, these two are, and then some of them flat. And I just wanted to make something colorful and dimensional. And um, and then I tucked my um, journaling into this pocket. I also have another journaling. I'll show you the hidden journaling. This is the little stamp set that came uh, in the subscription. And that's about me and Nico, where the picture was taken and you know, just the when where kind of thing. Then here on this side, I made this tag out of photo paper. So I just printed it on photo paper and then just cut it to mimic like this really long looking Polaroid. Did a silver eyelet and some rope. And then there's more story, right? Oh, not on the back, just the front. So a little note to my son. I like to do little hidden journaling like that. I use the stamp here again. 
and then this is one of the stamps that comes in Spanish because sometimes I have both so I like that and I like the mixing of the English and Spanish this one was for Studio Calico for their monthly TN kit and an add-on stamp so this was like pure luck that the stamp set these little bunnies happen to fit in these tags perfectly um, that worked really nice for the design and then I used the alphabet to spell out B-A-S-K-E-T basket so I just dressed up a really pretty pattern uh, that Studio Calico came out with and just added dimension and stamping to it this story is about um, kids are growing up, so my son is almost too old for an Easter basket, but money and chocolate, he'll take it anytime. So I'm gonna squeeze one more year out of it, probably. This one was done for Ellie Studio, so everything you see here is from Ellie, uh, from one of her monthly releases. This I love this card, this three by four card. I'm always looking for ways to use the three by four cards. I don't do project life. Um, that's actually not totally true. I do have one album from 2017-18 that I never finished in Project Life. So sometimes you'll see me go back and I'm trying to finish that album. But I didn't do it after that time and I don't plan on going back to pocket scrapbooking. Um, just because I did it and I kind of am falling in love with the Traveler's Notebooks and my other little bit of larger size projects. So these are actually stickers and I used the stickers to head each of the story. It's one continuous story, but I broke it up into three different cards. So it talks about the where and what we ate and why I needed coffee because I'm wearing a sweatshirt and it's cold um, and how good it was, even though it was like, like typical hole in the wall, um, old fashioned uh, seaside type of cafe. Uh, that we find here down at the Jersey Shore. This one's also Ellie's studio, so the patterned paper and the stamps are all by her. Um, as soon as I saw this paper, I love this paper. So this page is definitely driven by product this time because of the colors. I was going to use more swimming and pool, but I don't know, for some reason when I was looking through the pictures, this one caught my eye. I had never documented reading this book in the summer of 2022. I loved this book. It stayed with me for a long time. Um, the story, I highly recommend. So um, the colors in it reminded me a lot of the cover. So that's why I decided to use this story. I used another three by four card and then just added these little stamps to give it a little movement in here. A label. The sun has a a sparkly enamel dot on it um, just to give this otherwise really flat page some texture. Um, this is a Studio Calico one. That's my niece when she was really little there. Uh, she's probably about five um, and she was not afraid of ladybugs so there it is on her hand and she was so proud to show me that. She was fierce. And um, so it has story here. I Sometimes I do do a lot of stories, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's just a little bit of journaling, but this one, like I did this journaling and then I remembered something else, so I just added it right behind the photo. And then the entire thing is Studio Calico. The, these are letter stickers. Um, I just mimic the strawberries for this embellishment and just put everything along the center. This one was for Laura by Laura. I did this cute little tag. This is the stamps. And then there's more pictures of little Stella in there. That's my husband's niece. And I have to very carefully put it back there. Hmm. Okay. So these are a steel die by Laura. I love these. Um, and this was came with the um, stamp set that month. This is from the subscription. You got the tag steel die. And an embossing folder and I don't know if you can see that but it's really tiny little uh, circles it's a very clean plain design but um, I like the spring feel of it and I love this picture um, my husband borrowed some <laughs> baby chicks from a local farm and brought them over for her to play with uh, during Easter and she loved it this one was from Studio Calico. Um, 
Love this picture, didn't love the coloring in it, so I printed it out in black and white. And then just some story about um, these three and them sticking together and um, how grateful I am for the bond that they have. So the design's super simple. I used this really bold washi tape that came with the kit, offset it with orange, and then we have the two die cuts and a little cluster here. This one was for Carrie Bradford. Again, stacks of words. I love these stamps, love them. Um, so, sorry about the barking. That's gonna happen because my dog is kind of crazy and I'm not gonna edit it out. So every once in a while, you're gonna hear that. Um, so anyway, back to the page. I took the colors right from the photo. Um, so I wanted to play up the yellow as spring and I love that crisp combination of like spring green and yellow. I use it all the time. Um, the This chipboard is from Felicity Jane. Um, the washi tape I had in my stash. And then sort of to break up all the words, I uh, used uh, enamel dots. So, and then they kind of go from green to a lighter yellow to a darker yellow and then back. Super bold, clean, I love this. And then I added the journaling and the story of these uh, Prospect Garden in Princeton. This one I like a lot too. So this one was for Studio Calico. I loved this month's kit because I like these bursts with the words on the top and the colors that are so nice and bright. And they were perfect for telling the story of my husband's niece, Stella, and how they had this huge sign on her front lawn. It reminded me so much of the colors and the feel of the Starburst. So I thought it was really good for uh, documenting her 10th birthday. So I put her name. I'm not sure if you can see that because there's so much glare. Sorry about that. So S-T-L-L. Um, right on top and then I use this little stamp on the bottom of each um, clear die cut and that just gives it movement and it breaks it up a little bit and fills the space and I, I just feel like it looks like party. Pretty big picture and I still cut off some part of the birthday but you get the general idea of it and then a little bit of journaling. The 10 is uh, stickers and then this is a stamp. And then the last one, oh, I should stay this way. Okay, this one is, this one I did just for me. This is my paper person shop kit. Uh, this was a while back. They did a gaming one and I loved it. I love this Pac-Man paper. So I finally got to use it because it was kind of stump like. I want to tell the story of how we used to play Pac-Man back in the day, but I didn't have any good pictures. And then this winter we went to an indoor water park and they had this huge arcade. Um, and I got this picture of my husband playing with, with the kids. Um, it's so, I mean, the video games are so unreal compared to the, you know, waka waka of Pac-Man. So... This was my, you know, journaling was speaking to them, to the, the three and telling them how different it is today from back then. And um, I kind of missed the nostalgia of the little ghosts and things, but I finally got to use that paper. So that was a win. And that's it. That is my volume two. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.